Hey, what happened to you lot on Mom Friday? Mario destroyed some of you. Oh my goodness. He was sweating in a pool. You were sweating in a pool. Well done if you kept up with Mario. I'm not competing with that man anymore. He is too good. His workout on Friday was immense. Some of you switched off after about 25 minutes. You check out the rest of it. Some of you switched off after about 48 minutes. There was still more to come. Please watch all of it. Go back, watch the lot, push yourself. He was on it. So today, I'm on it. Okay. And we're just going to repeat something we did a month ago and see how much we've improved. So, let's get moving. Just marching. Arms moving. Almost like a train. So, a month ago, I was going on holiday. Feet to the side. I was going on holiday and I smashed out a real quick 15, 16 minute workout beforehand. We did 50 seconds work with a 10 second rest. We're gonna try that again today, exactly the same as a month ago, and we'll be able to see if we feel a little bit easier. Okay, and that's hard to remember what a month ago happened. The feet up to the front, a little bit higher. Okay, but I've, I've watched back to myself, okay? And those 50 seconds, they were a long, long time, but we worked for an hour and eight minutes the other day with Mario. But to the side again, to the back. Okay, and if you did that, today should be okay. Okay, we will work harder, as in we're gonna do 50 seconds. Arms to the side. We're gonna do 50 seconds on each exercise, which will feel like a long time. Okay, but we'll then get a 10 second rest. We'll get 50 seconds to smash that rest. A few little jabs. Okay, so let's get the pulse rosa going. Also today, I wanna to talk about the effects of exercise. So this week, all about the effects of exercise today, Wednesday and Fridays. We'll talk about the effects of exercise, short term effects of exercise, quite often called responses. Shake out the arms, as in how my body responds whilst I'm exercising. So what's happening during this session? Okay, so just stepping across. Already, like Illy, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this part of the exercise? And behind. Good. Get a pulse rate, so already one of the effects of exercise is my heart rate will increase. And in front again, little kicks, so it's a little bit higher. So my heart rate's increasing, my strength volume is increasing as well, good stuff. So that's the amount needed in my heart. Okay, back in the middle, shake it out. Okay, just I'll turn about side to side. Forward backwards. So as we get in our heart rate up, pumping more blood, delivering more oxygen than we've talked about before as well. So, clearly my heart rate's gone up, shake out. Check out the legs. Okay, just a few little knees to elbows. Heart rate's gone up, strength volume's gone up, therefore my cardiac output has gone up. Okay, so my breathing, tidal volume has gone up, the amount of breathing in and out, and my breathing rate has gone up. So, already those things are happening. Shake it up, shake it up. So, we're gonna do about 16 exercises, about a minute on each, or 50 seconds in a 10 second rest. Stretch out our quads, so, fairly hard, fairly fast, and then we're done. Swap over. Um, so already, heart rate's increased. Um, well, that's a, an effect on my cardiovascular system, my cardiorespiratory system. Hamstrings, stretch them out. Whereas at the moment, I'm stretching out my muscles. Why can my muscles stretch now? Why are my muscles able to stretch now that I've just done a little bit of jogging on the spot? Good, they've got a little bit warmer, they've become more elastic, um, a little bit more stretch, so there's going to be a better range of movement at my joints. That's not just because my muscles have become more elastic, but also my tendons and my ligaments. So, mobilise our shoulders, and as we do this, we're creating more synovial fluid. Yeah, that oily liquid that covers my bones. Shake it up. Fingers and wrists. Just keep moving on this spot as well. Now this liquid, normally quite gloopy, as it gets warmer, it becomes less viscous, it becomes more runny. Then it can coat the bone much better. That's an increase of synovial fluid. Protects my bones. But however, whilst I'm jogging on the spot, every time my feet hit the floor, okay, it encourages a little bit of new bone growth as well. So, damages a little bit of growth per bone and they grow back thicker and stronger, just like my muscles do as well. Uh, and so there's been micro tears, a bit of encouragement of bone growth. Also, uh, 
So we've got our micro tears, that's why I was mentioning that. Increased mobility, our synovial fluid, oh, our ankles, that's what I was meant to be doing. Down, up, down, up, down, up, in, out, in, out. Shake it all about, okay? And also, because we're using more energy, in, out, in, out, shake it all about. We're only off those calories, our metabolic rate has also gone up. So, very quick, even within our warm up, just shake out those arms, that's a little bit. Big circles forwards and then backwards. Okay, just in our warm up, we've talked very quickly, increase of synovial fluid, increase of micro tears, which will make our bones, uh, muscles go back quicker and stronger. Same with our bones, tiny little impacts as they hit the floor, um, causes our osteoblasts and osteocytes to get slightly damaged, but they'll get fixed. Okay, they'll send new ones, fix them all off. So, shake it up. A few little star jumps. Get that heart rate right up so it's delivering lots of oxygen. Very good. Shake it up. So our musculoskeletal system gets affected by exercise and so does our cardiorespiratory. So we're going to smash it out. We're just going to do 50 seconds. Make sure my timer is here. So I've got that somewhere. I'm going to do 50 seconds with about a 10 second rest. Bang them out. Uh, and whilst doing that, we'll talk about how this is affecting our bodies, affecting our, uh, ourselves, our skeletal, uh, muscular endurance. Oh, what am I on about today? Sorry, my skin. Musculoskeletal system, that's the one. Muscles and the skeleton, what happens to them? And also our cardiorespiratory system, what happens to my heart and lungs whilst we're exercising? And stuff that's going on in my blood, my blood vessels, uh, in my lungs, like down in the alveoli and stuff like that. But what's happening actually pretty much during the session, maybe half an hour after, an hour after, like our metabolic rate will stay up. So make sure you've got your water, make sure you've got your weights, make sure your space is fairly safe, or completely safe, sorry, completely safe. Um, make sure you've got appropriate footwear on. Now, I have had some tight Achilles, and maybe it's because I've been doing it in barefoot, but I'm doing it on the, uh, on the carpet. Maybe it's just because I did too much. Did all of this on Friday. Uh, did a lot of walking as well. And my 15 minute challenge. Boomed it, boomed it, it was amazing. Went a little bit further, just that little bit. Perfect, so we're gonna go for this. 50 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Let's try and increase the intensity because we know we're only going to work for about 16 minutes. We've got 16 exercises. You never know what might happen, things go crazy. So, um, ready? Going to start with our star jumps exactly like we did a month ago, just before I went on holiday. So, star jumps, ready? Let's go! So, pretty much covered the effects of exercise on the musculoskeletal system. Well, I described them, I didn't need to explain them, I just described very quickly some of the things that happen to my musculoskeletal system, so my muscles and my bones, things that happen to them. So, we'll go through that again to that moment. A bit of impact to my shins, and my feet, go to those bones, might take a little bit of damage, but it will encourage new bone growth uh, due to the damage it wanted to be repaired. My body doesn't like being damaged, it tries to grow back thicker and stronger, so my bones are becoming tougher reduces the chance of osteoporosis in later life as well. Okay, so we've done 45 seconds, five more seconds, and then we're gonna go into our sit-ups. So we've got that 10 second rest, which would be unusual for us after last week. Okay, just shake it out. Grab a drink. Be ready for these sit-ups. Ready? Let's go, we're gonna come all the way up. Touch our toes, touch your toes. So, a one minute sit up test. A test our muscular endurance, we talked about last week. Yeah, it's very similar to it, we're gonna do it for 50 seconds. So can you work those full 50 seconds? Do you have to lie down on the floor, have a little collapse? That's no problem. We're coming all the way up, all the way down like we would in the test. Try not to let our shoulders rest on the floor. Hopefully, you will find today a lot easier than you found it a month ago. But what I want you to do then, in that case, increase the reps, work harder. So in that 50 seconds, can you do more sit-ups? Do you collapse on the floor? Do you need a rest? Yeah, good stuff, shake it out. So we've got our 10 seconds and we're gonna do our knees 12 hours. Let's just shake out. Come on, breathe in, ready? Let's go. Even in those 10 seconds, just being able to get in that little bit of extra uh, oxygen, get rid of that CO2 whilst we're not bouncing around like crazy fools, they will help us recover much better. And you'll find most sports, having a 10 second break, you can do it, okay? In those 10 seconds, make the most of your break so you can then work harder for the time you're working. So, let's pick up the pace. 
let's really go for it. Because we know we get a little rest. When we knew we were working continuously for 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, yeah, we had to slow the intensity down a little bit. But, it's only 50 seconds, smashing out, mainly anaerobic, and those 15 seconds, 50, sorry. And then we do that as 10 seconds, really get the oxygen in. Two more seconds. Enjoy your 10 seconds. 10 seconds normally goes like that, doesn't it, but actually, we'll quick it does go like that. So, press ups. Ready? Let's go. Remember, doing some more press ups with PTSD, raising awareness of mental health issues, stuff like that. We'll allow them. How do you conquer them? Keep it going. Do so at least 25. Woo! I could do them 30 seconds, but it's now these ones are hurting. So I'm not used to working for this amount of time, even with a break. Oh, 10 more seconds. Do a few more. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, breathe into your nose, out for your mouth. Into your nose. Excellent. Into our jabs. So, knees slightly bent. Let's go. And we're keeping our elbows back to our body. Okay, nice. Straight arms. Try and take them out fairly parallel to the floor. So, effects of exercise. I can feel them now. I'm sweating and I've gone red. Trying to cool me down. We know why I've got hot. Okay, due to get the exothermic reactions of the ATP bonds being broken down into ADP. Okay. Good, so that's why we've got hot. So I've got to resynthesize this ATP, so the effect of exercise, I need more. Good, I need more oxygen. Glucose is pretty much in my muscles, around my muscles. I just need to get the oxygen there. So if I increase my heart rate, increase my stroke volume, therefore increasing my cardiac output, check it out. Yeah, I can deliver more oxygen. So increasing heart rate, increasing uh, stroke volume will increase my cardiac output. Excellent stuff. Squats, then go for our power squats. Ready? Let's go. Just that little jump in the middle. Keep your back straight. Now work for the full 50 seconds. Can't lie, this is tough. Maybe it's a little bit longer than an exercise than normal, but I am loving the 10 seconds break. So a bit of variation into our training. Similar exercises, but we vary at the time, and it stops us getting bored, it stops tedium. Ten more seconds. Good stuff, so, heart rate's increased, soap volume's increased, cardiac helper has increased, thick of water. Mountain climbers, let's go. So, my muscles require more oxygen. What else is increased? How am I going to get this oxygen? Good. I'm going to breathe more often. So my breathing rate has gone up. My tidal volume has gone up. That's the amount I inhale and exhale each breath. Keep it going. Good stuff. So, my tidy volume increases, my breathing rate increases, my minute volume, the amount I take in in a minute, exhale in a minute, also increased. Trying to get more oxygen in, get it to the muscles. As I just said, my heart rate is also increased. So, pumping it around quicker, I can make more ATP. Right, shoulder press. 30 light weights. Let's go. Good 
So we're going. If you need to, check out your arms. Do a few more. Nothing wrong with that. Pushing ourselves to our limits. Good stuff. Shake it up. So, alternate leg kicks. Get down in opposition. Couple of seconds. Let's go. So, my body wants more oxygen to make more ATP because I'm using it all up. Very simple, isn't it? So, how do we get that more oxygen? We breathe faster, take deeper breaths, our heart pumps faster, and it pumps more. So we can deliver the oxygen to try and make the ATP. We also breathe faster to do what? Get rid of, to get rid of the CO2. Five more seconds. This stuff, I'll be honest, I'm struggling today. Don't know why. Oh, lunges. Let's go. Did quite a bit over the weekend. So, we will add a rest from this. Didn't really give my body much of a rest. So I'm struggling. I need time to allow my body to adapt. Rest and recovery days are so important. I know some of you are as keen as muscle to get fit, yeah, but don't smash it, don't do it every day. Let your body recover. Let your body have a chance to adapt. If you pick up a bit of an injury, have a rest. Perhaps we have to take a few days off and to cause that injury to get worse. One more. Good stuff. So, woo, with all this extra blood pumping around. Skipping next. Grab your rope. Let's go. So, more blood being pumped around. So more blood inside our blood vessels will cause what? If you think there's more blood going through the same tubes, we're going to have an increase in good pressure. So the pressure inside my veins, sorry, not my veins, my arteries, will go up. So that's our blood pressure. Our blood pressure increases during exercise. Just because we're trying to put more blood through the same holes. So the pressure on the tubes is going to push it a little bit. A few more. Come backwards. Have a rest. Okay, we're going to do our plank. Ready? Touch your shoulders, let's go. So increasing blood pressure whilst we're working, because there's more blood going through certain arteries. However, some parts of my body don't need as much blood, because they're not working so much. So, we have what's called redistribution of blood. Our body shunts it to where it most requires it. Through vasodilation, vasoconstriction. A few more. Have a rest. So, my brain, I know I'm trying to talk too lot, that's why I struggle sometimes. Not so much blood going to my brain, it's going to my muscles that require it. Due to my, my, my arteries becoming smaller so less blood can get to my brain the ones in my legs opening right up so more blood can get there good stuff so uh, jogging on the spot just jogging hands fairly high pick up the pace a little bit so three quarters we're going to go for a sprint in five four three two one, go, pump, 
Get your knees up, bounce on your toes, pump those arms. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Go down to jogging. Just jog. Just jog. Four more seconds to jog in. That's it. Oh, why is this hurting too much today? Oh, I don't know. Right, let's get my weights. I'm going to get heavy ones. Oh, I'm going to go light. We're going to do curls. Let's go. So I've got light. So now I've got to do it for 50 seconds. If it's just 30 seconds, I might go a bit heavier. Keep it going. Two more. Whilst my biceps are working, my heart and lungs don't run to work quite so much because there's not as many muscles come to work. So, getting the oxygen in. Yeah, my breathing rate's high. That's two. My breathing rate's high. My tidal volume's high. My stroke volume's high. My heart rate's high. Okay. Let's uh, grab my Christmas cow today. All sit. Let's go. Okay, so just sit. I looked a month ago. And this is like my after workout challenge. We just sat here for as long as we could. I kind of like it because it gives my heart and lungs a rest and my legs are starting to hurt and we just hold it. Really good little test, see how long we can do it for. Just a wall sit challenge. If you can do it for over a minute, very good. A little bit more, a little bit more. Can you get your arms moving? Are you on the floor? If you're on the floor, get back up, start again. Let's keep it going. Ten more seconds. Arms up, to the side, to the top, head, shoulders, knees and toes. Oh, I can't reach the toes. Have a little rest there, good stuff, that's just over a minute. Shake out your legs. So, woo! With all this is going on, some anaerobic respiration has definitely occurred because I can't work this long without it. So what's increased as well? What what um, product does anaerobic respiration create? So I've got it now. I'm coping with more of it. Good, lactic acid. So our lactic acid is also increased. Okay. Star jumps. Let's go. Got some great news for you lot. This is it. It's the last of the exercises. We'll do a quick cool down. We smashed it this morning. Short and sweet. Just like me. Um, so, obviously if it's not enough for you, rewind, go again. Okay, but you should have found today a bit easier than a month ago. Than a month ago. I'll be honest, I didn't. I found this quite hard. Maybe I only just eat my breakfast. Maybe I didn't rest enough over the weekend. Didn't sleep well last night. A little bit of stiff ankles. My Achilles. Okay, shake it up. So, guys, that was brilliant. Well done. Oh, feel rotten. A lot of anaerobic uh, respiration today. So my lactic acid is high. Making me feel a little bit sick. Look at those 50 seconds on the same exercise. And I couldn't rest those muscles. So when I've done 30 seconds, I've done bicep curls, just 30 seconds, and then I've used my legs so my biceps have had a chance to recover. Maybe that's got something to do with it. Oh, maybe I'm just getting old. Maybe Mario is just better than me. But hey ho, got some special guests. Hope they're coming on on Wednesday. So don't check, don't miss Wednesday. You go watch Wednesday to uh, really smash your quiz on Friday. Like I said, the quiz is all about the effects of exercise. I've mentioned them all today. Describe most of them. Um, so heart rate increases, stroke volume increases. Breathing rate increases, tidal volume increases, which increases my cardiac output and my minute volume. Lactic acid has increased, and my blood pressure has increased. Uh, well, redistribution of blood as well, it's going different places that maybe it wouldn't normally. Uh, 
See, I'm knackered, it's not going to my brain at the moment. I can't remember stuff, and yet normally I'm on it. Um, oh, I'm sweating, and I'm red. Micro tears in my muscles, a little bit of damage to my bones, particularly in my legs, so they'll grow back, go new bone growth. And my metabolic rate is higher, so I'm burning more calories than I will be for the next 24 hours. Uh, what else happened? Uh, oh, my joint mobility, due to the stretchiness of my ligaments and my tendons and my muscles, because okay, it's nice and warm, so I've got better joint mobility, less likely to injure myself. And the synovial fluid around my joints, in my joint capsules, sort of great. So they become better as well. So, jibbering on, shake out your legs. Shake out your arms. Just step to the left. And then up. So, we're going to do our active recovery. Little cool down. Help my heart rate come back down. Still keeping it going around. Help get rid of the lactic acid. Pick up the carbon dioxide. Help me breathe out. Tap to the front. Arms up. Arms down. Tap to the back. Lifting up to the front, your arms are swinging forwards as you're tapping back. Bit of coordination. The coordination, I'm going to you using two body parts at the same time. So my arms are trying to think of going upwards, my feet are going backwards. So check out my arms. Let me just go step across. Well, so if you don't have room, just and behind. So I'm not going to get carried away like Mario did and start another whole session. He was mad on Friday. Saw him like sort of three sessions he did. No wonder people got confused. Shake out your arms. A few like jabs. I know some people got to the end of the first bit and he went, right, I'm going to go again. I'm like, what? Got to the end of the second bit and he stuttered with his cool down, chatting away. Boom, some comes on some tune that he enjoyed. He went for it again. Madman, shopping bags. Alternate shopping bags. And you march when I spot a straight time. Funky chicken. Slow funky chicken, but a little bit higher. Hold. Down. Hold. Keep moving backwards and forwards as well. If you've got space. Let's grow that tree. Hands behind, stretch out our chest, enjoy this morning, nice and quick, we've been working for 28 minutes, okay, surely most of us can fit that in a day, I've got friends saying I don't have time to exercise, you make time to exercise your clunkers, this is important, okay, if your boss is making you do so much, say well I've got to look after my health, I'm doing 30 minutes, arms out in front, shake it out, shake it out, Shop bag. I know some of my colleagues do this in their office at work. Okay, but 30 minutes easy. Arms to the side. Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Shake it up. Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. And head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Shake it up. Shake it up. Check it out. Okay, now now press up. Just gonna stretch out across. Try to feel the stretch in your biceps and your chest. Swap over. Keep that stretch. Make sure your hands go right past the head. Feeling the stretch in my biceps in this arm, and my pecs, my chest muscles. Okay, good stuff. Shake it up. Shake it up. Okay, quads. Just hold it there. So, whilst we exercise, our body does stuff. It responds to the exercise, so we call them responses. So we've got these responses to exercise to try and make the exercise a little bit easier, swap over. So, my body thinks, I don't like to get damaged, I don't like things to be hurt, so it makes a few adjustments, like increases the synovial fluid, uh, increases the heat so we can stretch a bit more so it's less likely to tear. Hamstrings, one foot forward, one foot back. Uh, damage does occur. When this damage occurs, our body goes, I don't like this, I don't want it to be damaged, so I'm going to grow back a little bit thicker and stronger. So my muscles and my bones can repair themselves. My heart rate 
massively increased. The amount of blood flowing has increased. That's my stroke volume, which only overall increases my cardiac output, the amount of blood that leaves per minute. And we'll go through the units and stuff another time. Increase of blood pressure, shake it out. Shake it out. Shopping bags. Keep walking. Monkey chicken. Very much. Down on our knees. Sit on our ankles. Reach forward. Nice and low. Come right up. Yeah, I definitely, I was knackered whilst I was doing this. This was hard work doing it, but I feel like I'm recovering much quicker. That's a good sign of aerobic fitness, how quickly I can recover. So, push back. I might be able to play the first 10, 15 minutes, and whereas before I was completely knackered and would have to just come off for good. Give me a two minute break, okay? Let me just drop back into defense. Let me just uh, keep the ball away from me for a little bit. Let my team work to make, work hard a little bit for a second. Give me two minutes and I'm recovered and I'll go all again. Another 15 minutes. A couple of breaks, yeah, maybe that's half time, and that's what they're doing in the football minutes. So about, about 20 minutes at the moment they work for, 20, 22 minutes, and then they get a second break at uh, a uh, quarter time. Just sit back, they haven't had time to build up their aerobic endurance for 45 minutes. Hold it there. Last one forward, nice and high. Just hold it there. Good stuff. Shake out the arms. Shake out the legs. Big circles forward, last little bit. So, hopefully you've learnt a few of the of responses to exercise, or immediate effects of exercise. Shake out the arms. Again, we'll recap them on Wednesday. We'll do a bit more of an exercise on Wednesday as well. It'll be fairly similar, and I'm not gonna push us for that long time. Half an hour, 45 minutes max on Wednesday. Recapping trying to explain some of the effects of exercise. So, so why do they happen? So I've said that my heart rate increases, we've sort of looked for why. Most of them we do know why, we've talked about them before, but um, people that are doing BTEC, this is loads of important stuff for, for next year. Let's get it in now, let's learn it now. Other people, it's really nice to know about our own bodies, isn't it? They are us, yeah. I like biology at school, I like to K, uh, A level and stuff like that, because it's all about us, how we work, what's happening inside me, what's happening inside my brain, what's happening inside my body, and my muscles. All that sort of stuff. So, you've been amazing today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've noticed that actually, it's not damn so easier than a month ago when Captain was just going on holiday. He was dressed in his hula skirt. You might remember that one. Okay, so when I was dressed like that, that was about a month ago. In fact, it was a month ago today, I think. Um, have you? Do you find it easier? Or are you just able to work harder? So did you do more reps? Can you increase the intensity? How hard we work? Are you lifting slightly heavier weights? Did you do more reps? Did you not fall on the floor? Can you just cope with it a little bit better? Are you recovering quicker? All those sort of things. If they are, I hope that's motivated you to do a bit more. Let's get out, do your run maybe today, if you haven't done it over the weekend, if you haven't done anything else. Do whatever else. Uh, crack on with your schoolwork. Well done to those people that did school games last week. Uh, here at Drew School did extremely well. I think they won the goal for, for secondary. I'm not quite sure where Hale came. I'm going to find out the results today as well, and I'll let you know. So well done if you did any of that. Well done if you've done it this morning. Amazing on the, on the quiz last week, some of you. Muchas gracias. A bit of Spanish, I think. Um, take it easy. Stay safe.